Understanding Salty Sea Air, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a vivid and descriptive phrase, salty sea air. This phrase is not just about the words but the imagery and sensations it evokes. So, let's dive in and unravel its meaning together. Salty sea air is a phrase that combines three key words, salty, sea, and air. Each of these words contributes to the overall meaning. Salty refers to the taste or flavor that is like salt, which is a common seasoning. Sea is a large body of salt water, larger than a lake, and is one of the major divisions of the world's oceanic areas. Air refers to the invisible gaseous substance surrounding the Earth, a mixture of mainly oxygen and nitrogen. When combined, these words describe the unique atmosphere near the sea. The phrase, salty sea air, is often used to create sensory imagery. It helps the listener or reader to imagine the experience of being near the sea. This includes the distinct taste of salt that one might sense in the air near the ocean, the smell of the sea, and the overall feeling of being in that environment. It's a phrase that appeals to the senses of taste, smell, and even touch, as one can often feel the sea breeze. In English, salty sea air is often used in descriptive writing or speech, particularly in literature, poetry, and travel writing. It helps to set the scene and give the audience a vivid impression of a coastal setting. It's not just about the literal air by the sea, it's about evoking a specific mood or atmosphere. Let's look at some examples of how this phrase can be used in sentences. 1. As I walked along the beach, I breathed in the salty sea air and felt at peace. 2. The salty sea air reminded her of her childhood summers spent at the seaside. 3. He missed the salty sea air of his coastal hometown while living in the city. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, salty sea air, and how it's used to create vivid imagery in English. It's a beautiful example of how language can paint pictures and evoke emotions. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.